there guys, it is Josh C with Seppala, welcome back to The Wolf Among Us. Last time we did some stuff, this time, we're gonna do more stuff. Mainly, moving on to episode 3, where we chase down Crane, that vile bastard. Alright, Big B. You book it back to the business office. Now. Kill him! I'll rip him apart! Crane? Ugh! God, you think you'd know a person. Bigby, you have to tell her. I know! What's going on? What did you find up there? You know, other than the... I the, just the need to find cut. Snow. Why are you Why? trying this? You know this. We What's checked it. What's going on? Shit! Crane's been... <clears throat> oh, Bigby, calm down. Everything's going to be fine, okay? It's going to be fine. Crane might be following Snow. If I can find her, I can... God damn it! Okay, it's it's going to be okay. Where did you see her last? Did she say where she was going? She took Holly to the business office to prepare for the funeral. Well, at really? least she's got Holly. Yeah. How do you know... I was just at the Trip Trap, and I heard Gren telling some folks about a funeral at the Buckingham the Bridge. Trip Trap? Are you drinking? When? Right now. They were on their way out. Bigby! Wait. Unless you have a car, Beauty, what? I need to get Snow's... going now. Snow's been through a lot. There are things she doesn't talk about. Just please be careful when you tell her. I know. No, you don't know. You know how you felt when you saw that picture? Well, it's going to be much worse for her. Just remember that. I... Thank you. Thank you, Beauty. I appreciate it. she was truly close to. If you're here, then you were part of a very special circle. Just gonna stay out of People it. People she trusted and cared for. I won't um, offend you by claiming one day that that the pain of losing Lily will ever subside. I know as well as you that it will never subside. But I also know that I'll the miss worrying about Lily you. I'll miss our well. fights. And I'll miss will, you. In time, Holly. Equal in strength to our mourning her loss. And it is in that spirit that I'd like now to talk about... Now you will never die from, from indifference. So grateful to share with a tedious Vivian. life. Your memories Goodbye, of sweetheart. How she could be Thanks for stubborn and patient. Vivian. Rash and thoughtful. How she carried a torch for the old ways. For tradition. Look, as long as snow is over there and I can see her, we're good. And most Shit of all, all over town. it seems how I miss you already. Really loved, Gren. dearly loved her friends. Such as the bridges, man. She loved being around them, in good times and bad. I never met Lily, but from what I've been told, I know in my heart that she would have liked to be here tonight. And now we'll have our um, moment of silence. Thank you. Is this moment of silence? Bigby, is everything okay? No, not you. Holly, it's- He wasn't fucking invited. Holly, wait. He has no right to be here. Not after what he did. Holly, I'm sorry, but I had to come. You throw my sister down the witching well, what? and you have the nerve to show your I face didn't do that! There after you lie, after you promise me. Holly, wait, that was Crane, just Crane. He disposed of Lily's body before Bigby could do anything about it. That piece of shit. 
I'm telling you the truth. Don't cover for him. But this genuinely wasn't his fault. I'm sorry, Holly. I, I didn't know he put her down the witching well. Bigby cares, Holly. He's trying to help. And I'm sure he has a very good reason for being here. But this one isn't on him. Why are you here, anyway? And don't say it's because you care about this. Everything okay? I'm gonna be honest. I think I know who murdered your sister. Who? Maybe we should talk about this somewhere else? What? No, I deserve to know. I know, I... I know... Honestly, I want everybody looking for this man. This. I don't give a fuck about the way. I don't care about procedure. If you know, I'm with Holly. Told, fuck the it's way. Me. It's us. Right now. I think it was Ichabod Crane. What? Crane? Crane. Okay, everyone, just stop. Bigby and I are going to have a little chat while everyone else gets back to the funeral. What? He says that fucking crane murdered Lily and you expect me to Please, get angry. I promise I will tell you what the Look hell for is him. going on just as soon Cut as his I fucking head off too. To I, I mean actually don't Just let us do our jobs first. Don't kill him. I need to talk to Look, him first. Holly, interrogate I know him. How this must no, you don't know how this must feel. You have no idea. Don't fuck anything up. Don't bother anybody. And when the first sign of trouble comes, and it will come because you're a goddamn walking trap for it, I want you the fuck out of here. Of course. You won't even know I'm here. Let's just continue, okay? This is such total fucking bullshit. Let's go, Holly. It's your turn to talk. Crane. Yeah. I can't believe this. Yeah, there's a lot this more that you're not going to believe. With for decades, this is a guy. He gets freaking shakes when he has to order food. I mean, what are you telling me? It, it's all an act. Just what have you found, Bigby? Lily was Crane's prostitute. I followed a lead to this shithole motel, the Open Arms. This is going to be a Crane had a room there, and he's been taking prostitutes, or at the very least Lily, and making her look like you while he was, you know. This is... I don't even know what to say right now. I really don't. I'm just trying everything I can right now to not picture it. To not picture him. I'm sorry, Snow. And I'm sorry I had to be the one to tell you. You're sure this is what happened? This is what he's yes. been doing? Because please, Bigby, don't confuse things. Deposing Crane would be the next step. Crane has been taking photos, Snow. Lots of photos. Photos that show him... He's been recording his visits with Lily. God. Look, let's go back to the business office. I doubt Crane's there at this hour, but we need to talk. And this isn't the place. No, Nerissa? What is it? I'm sorry, but Holly's asking for you. Are they starting the burn? Yes. Everyone who spoke should really be present for this part. She's kind of distraught. You're not leaving yet, are you? Stay for the burn. I don't I'll wait outside. Be, um, no, I understand. No, I get it. Take your time. It won't take long. How'd it go? At the motel. Badly. Did you find anything? I, uh, I did. It helped a lot. Thanks. Nerissa! Yeah, uh, coming! I'm gonna wait outside. Constable? Wait, wait, wait. Easy now, girl. You know how this goes. The first thing in a visit, you say, how do you do? How do you do? Now, now is not the is time. really not the time for whatever you jagovs are planning to do. Well, isn't that the thing of it? Plans. 
Except it isn't our plans you should be concerning yourself with. We'll snip to the chase for all sakes. A little bird told us that you're fitting to go after Crane. And you see, we have an interest in that particular boy. So you leave Crane alone, and we'll leave you alone. What do I need to Just say to get you guys to vacation leave? vacation is all. You're trying to pull this shit at a funeral? We can deal with this later. No, not later. Later's too late. Right now. So what's it gonna be? We have a deal? You leave Crane alone, and we leave you to yours? Yeah, fine, fine, it's a deal. I'll get the fuck out of here. Just get out of here. I can betray you anyway. It. Ladies, gentlemen, invertebrates, please, rest easy. This is not... What the hell is going on? What's happening? Very sorry to impose, but we only had a deal to work out with Bigby. And we're happy to report that everything went smoothly. So if you'll just allow us to get out of your hair... Bigby, what is he talking about? Never you mind that, it ain't any of your... What deal? Stop this shit. Right now. Exactly our intention. He's been a good sport. Consider the shit stopped. <laughs> What did I tell you? What did I say? Ali? You think you motherfuckers could come here uninvited? You think you could just fucking interrupt Lily's funeral? Calm down, darling. It was just a simple business transaction. You fucking freaks are not getting away with this. Polly, don't move. Ali, let me handle this. Yeah, let's spare all the fuss. It's just a day. You had to go and say I'm that. I'm gonna kill you! I'm not gonna stop them, to be honest with you. Holy. Holy. I got it, dumb! How about I shoot you in the fucking gut? You gonna like that? an intro. I did as well as I could to take out the buckshot, but there's still some shards left embedded in your shoulder. They'll eventually warm their way out on their own, but until they do, you're gonna be sore. Bigby, Dr. Swinehart was appointed Fabletown physician for a reason. It's okay. There's only one thing you have to take away from all this. Take it easy. Do you know my line of work? <clears throat> Don't go looking for any more fights. Keep strain off your heart. Are you okay? Yeah. I'm good. Is she? She's fine, Bigby. I had everyone that got wounded sent home. Holly refused to let me see where she lived, so I left her and Grendel back at her bar with a dose of juniper and spring water. Just remember what I said. The stitches won't hold up if you continue to act like you normally do. Well, Everything at least you understand. And uh, eat more chicken. I'll try to. All right, then. Very good. Business office. I know, I'll have to call you back. The town is starting to find out. Well, I'll leave you two to it then. Miss White, Big B. So, to recap, 
Crane watched me through the magic mirror uncover his room at the open arms, and then he smashed it so we couldn't use it ourselves to go after him. And we know this because Buffkin was drinking in the rafters. That about cover it? And once he puts all the pieces back together, it'll be easy to catch Crane. So, I guess that's the plan, currently. But I, I don't know. Do we know There's anywhere no else Crane leads. could be? This is it. Just wait for the mirror. Yeah. What the hell is going on? Just, I don't know what the Tweedles get out of this. I don't know if Crane sent them. I don't know if... I mean, this is gonna sound crazy, but do you really think Crane did it? Everything points to him. I get it, but... I mean, I at the very least think, think he killed, killed Lily. Women? From what I saw at the open arms, everything points to Crane murdering Lily. What isn't adding up for me is Faith. Why would he kill her? Doesn't seem connected. Yeah, it, it doesn't make sense. He's... He was a conniver. A, a coward. A liar. And I'll always hate him for that. And I'll hate him for how he... Held me in his thoughts. But murdering prostitutes? Ow! Everything okay over there? Yes, Miss White. I just cut myself on a piece of the glass. Nothing to worry about. You need a... Thanks for tonight, gauze? by the way. That could have gone really terribly. I mean, even worse than it did. I just feel bad for Holly, really. Yeah. Time heals everything eventually. At least, I hope so. I mean, she's at sake. the bar with drugs and liquor, so I'm Can sure I she's already forgotten by now. ask you a question? It's kind of personal. And I don't want to offend you. Why? What's on your mind? It's just... When stuff hits the fan, like... Like it did tonight. It feels like before we came to the city. It feels... Kind of like home. And I've heard it said that... Maybe in... Some... Tiny little bottled up way... Deep inside... You kind of... Enjoy it. When things no, go No! Not at all! Because I don't like people hating me. To just, you know... Fuck no, I don't enjoy it. Are you kidding me? It's horrible. That's not the response I thought he was going to say. Wish it didn't happen. I shouldn't have said anything. Forget that I did. Uh, guys? We have a problem. What is it? I can't finish the mirror. It's missing a piece. What do you mean, missing a piece? Yes, it's, uh... Crane must have taken a shard with him. Oh, I can't believe this. I saw Crane pick something up after he smashed it. I'm sorry, I didn't realize what it was until now. Because you were drunk. The mirror can't work unless it's whole. Well, that's not entirely true. Or what, Buffkin? What? We sit around and wait until it mends itself? We have no idea how long that will take. We're just gonna have to do this the hard way. I'm just saying, waiting is an option. No. What exactly is the hard way? We'll look through his things, his desk, everything. Sounds good. He had to have left something that tells us where he's going. He's a neat freak, but he was never that smart. Smart enough to take a piece of the mirror. Shut up. We can still solve this ourselves. I know never that Never mind that. Come help me look. Buffkin? Okay. Hi, Mr. Bigby. I can still help you catch Crane, you know. Oh, yeah? Yes. I saw him jump on the telephone before he left. He called up somebody. He said he needed to see his witch, or that he would need to get to the witch for that. Whoever that is. His witch? Yes, it sounded like the one he got his snow glamours from. Hmm. Can we star 69? You didn't see anything else, did you? No, not, uh, not especially. Look, uh, the whole mirror thing, it's not your fault, all right? Y you mean it? Yeah. To be fair, Ichabod Crane, he's a weak I can do little skinny man, this. but I still think you, you probably would have had trouble with him. It's fine, Buffkin. Okay, that's a weird way to go around. 
Well, there's the key. What is it? It's the key to his room at the open arms. You still haven't told me what was in there. Yeah, I'm not going to. I want to know. I think it's better if you don't know. Don't coddle me, okay? I've seen more than you know. There's only so much you can repress, you know? Snow, you, you couldn't have known. No, I could have. Come on, let's keep looking. This here could do some improvement. It seems unrest and unfortunate. Okay, really nothing there. Please send someone to fix the air conditioning the units burn up in the apartment. Pinocchio says his skin is splintering and I don't know what that means, but I assume it's something gross and I really like you to fix the air for a few months ago. Alright, again, nothing. Ikabaw was just sitting on shit. Said you'd pay to have the plaster redone in my building after the last incident into a fort's fallen off the fucking walls. Please fix it. I can't run out of the room and it isn't anything. Okay, yeah, yeah. Green ever do any work? Only when Cole was around. Yeah. He did absolutely nothing. Break it open at this point. <laughs> the Office of Business Affairs. There's a page here that was torn out. Oh yeah? Buffkin, do you know what was here? The king of... It's a ring, at least. Oh, the ring. That's an R, Every magical not a item not retained in the armory is assigned to someone in Fable Town. It must be this witch he is going to see. Wait, what witch? Buffkin overheard Crane set up a meeting with a witch. Well, yes, it sounded like the one he got his, uh, you glamours from. It must be about this ring. Why not mention this before? No one asked me. Buffkin! And I'm hungover. I'm sorry. Okay, now he that the meeting at 2 a.m. is your fault. Tonight. What's going on? Is the mirror fixed yet? Bluebeard, this isn't the time. Is the mirror fixed or isn't it? You called I me called to... I called just to see if you knew where Crane could be, and that was it, okay? And I'm sorry I said anything more than that. Well, you did, and I know. The cat's out of the bag. So, can we find the dull pervert or not? No, it can't be fixed. It's missing a piece. This is none of Bluebeard's business, Bigby. None of my business? Crane's the murderer. He escaped. It seems he spoiled your every attempt at locating him. And now it's none of my business? I mean, technically it's not any of your business. We don't know if business. he's the murderer. Oh, please. Of course he is. Look, this just isn't the time. He took a piece of the mirror so we can't use it. The only thing we know is that Crane's Buffkin. going to see a witch at 2 o'clock. A.M. or P.M.? A.M. Listen, Bluebeard, you're not a part of this. I don't Why think do you're you in care? any position to turn away help. Why do you even care about this? Why? I'm invested in this enterprise we call Fable Town. <laughs> Literally invested. Since it's mostly my money that keeps the whole thing running. And tonight I hear that Crane has been killing Fables? And there's no system in place to catch him? Look. We know that Crane is going to see a witch, and it's to acquire a magic ring. What's the ring? We don't know what it does or who it's assigned to since Crane tore its page out of the book. This farce was your ridiculous idea for a plan. I mean, who put you in charge in the first place? Fixing the mirror was the most logical You're thing. You're a secretary. He's the sheriff. And none of you were chosen to run this office. Who elected you to make these decisions? Nobody, but that Who doesn't... elected her to spend my money? Well, I've been doing that unofficially for years. Snow can obviously handle this, so let's drop it. Well then, excuse me for having the Commonwealth in mind. You don't have the Commonwealth in mind. You just said you have your money in mind. <sighs> All right, let's just look on the bright side. We know Crane is going to see the witch that's been supplying him black market glamours. Thanks to me. And that he'll be there at two. So that gives us a few short hours to find out who it is and where they live and get them all at once. And a few shorter hours, the more you babble about it. 
We haven't been the ones babbling. Tell me yeah, where to yeah. look. Point me in a direction. Just I will go. Direction hey! To check first. You and I are Since thinking Lily the same thoughts the here, Bigby. She'd have known who the witch was, and I don't think Holly's burned her things yet. It would probably have the address or a phone number or something. And Bigby is free to go there if he likes. But I think the question you should be asking is just what do the two Tweedles know about this? It doesn't matter what they know. After tonight, they never go to their office. They're not smart enough to try and go anywhere else. The Trip Trap is the better option to track the witch down. If Holly has I will go things, to Holly that'd probably be the because she back. will probably know. I don't know. really care what you two do. I'm going to his apartment. What? That's fine. You can't just go up there. And why? And I don't care. Not? We already. You're gonna do whatever key, you want remember? anyway. I don't know where it is. Then I'll pick the blasted lock. <sighs> I've wasted enough time waiting for the mirror to find him. I won't waste any more. You just can't go up there alone, all right? I've no interest in nicking his drapes, my dear, if that's what concerns you. What concerns me is you traipsing through possible evidence. Oh, now it's evidence. Before just you stay out no of interest. it. And now it's a Excuse me a second. Scene. Bluebeard, just stay out Sorry of it. Sorry about that. Right? You'll just mess things up further. They can't get any more messed up. We have to find the witch, Bluebeard, since that's where he's going. Or the sniveling weasel chickened out. Never went anywhere, and is upstairs right now in his pitiful penthouse, crafting a fort out of couch cushions. Look, I'm pretty sure he's chicken shit, and he's just completely running. So this is how we're going to do it. Wherever you go, I'll go to the other. I don't like you going anywhere unsupervised. He's up to something. I don't know what it is, but we don't have the time to really worry about it now. Well, I definitely don't want him feet? talking to Holly. He doesn't give a shit about them anyway. It's not like he's going to be delicate on the matter at hand. So you leave Crane alone, and we leave you alone. I'd love to join you, but there's some business I need to attend to. No, no, I'm better off dealing with things alone. I don't need sympathy, and I don't need charity. Uh, Holly's bar. The witch's identity must be with Lily's stuff. I should go see Holly first. Perfect. And I'll go to Crane's apartment. I'll check in with you later. I hope you know what you're doing. Honestly, I'm kind of just bungling my way. <laughs> He's asleep, you fucking idiot. I need to talk to Holly. Please, it's important. Hey, look, Woody, it's the sheriff. Okay, okay, before you get all huffy, you, it was snow who let me go, all right? It just, you're not guilty, no Woody. I mean, you're guilty. She said so herself. But you're not don't guilty of what? yourself, Woody. I'm sure he understands. Luckily for you, I don't have the time to get pissed off about this right now. Well, come on in, buddy. Are we, uh... Friend. Are we friends? What? He's a traveler. A weary traveler in search of some hospitality, right? Yeah, sure. Thanks. I want a drink. Anybody else want a drink? Friend, Swinehart said you shouldn't mix you it. You think with... I give a fuck what that fucking guy says? Or what you say? Grant, really, you shouldn't drink right now. Swinehart told me I don't want to go digging into here. Lily's stuff without you Holly's permission. To to her. Holly's asleep in back, but you won't be able to wake her. Really? Doc gave him both barmesidal ambrosia for the pain. Look, the deal is, if you resist going to sleep like I am right now, it gives you a very, very, very nice high. Got any more left? And he said that he shouldn't mix it with alcohol. Yeah, 
Yes, he did. He certainly did. But let me tell you something. I haven't felt this good in a long time, fat boy. There's no way to wake her up. Oh, uh, no. Anyways, the doctor gave me strict orders to let the fine woman sleep. She's had a very traumatic experience. That funeral back there, that was a shitty fucking send-off for a pretty okay lady. Yeah. You weren't fucking there. I'm talking to Bigby now, okay? Can't say you being there helped things much. Gren, don't start nothing. Who's starting anything? I'm just gonna keep I'm quiet. Not. I didn't like any of those other choices. Whatever. It's alright. I'm too out of it to get into it. I want to clear the air. We're all in this dung heap of a fucking shit town together. We're all going to have a toast. All of us. Fellas, I'm here for one thing. To look through Lily's belongings and get out of here. Now, yeah, right? yeah, I know, I know. And I want to help you, okay? And I will. But first, indulge me. It'll take two seconds. All right, fine. A show of good faith. Olive Brands and, and after whatnot. After we'll all hunt and peck for Lily's shit or whatever. Grand Bigby didn't come here to get loaded with you. I don't want to get loaded with him. To the dead. All right, now help me. Gren, the doc said you needed to rest. How many times you fucking gonna warn me about it, huh? You're not my fucking mother, so just get off my back! I said I was sorry, alright? I can't do anything about it, it's done! I swear to God. What more do you want? What else can I fucking say here? I don't want anything from you, Woody. I absolutely cannot babysit you dumbasses right now. End whatever this is so we can just move past it. Oh, I forgot. You haven't heard the news. This walking lard cake was paying Holly's sister to let him fuck her behind all of our backs. And Holly had to find out going through all of her sister's shit. What fun that must have been. Trick after trick of this fat ass and Lily. I didn't plan for that, all right? And our thing, whatever it was, it wasn't a big deal. It wasn't. Woody. I never fucked her when she was snowing. I didn't know nothing about that. No, but you knew Holly would flip out. And you knew for a damn good fucking reason. You know what? Fuck this. I don't need this shit. Oh yeah, that's it. Now you're teary-eyed. You were always such a lowlife. I don't know why I never realized it till now. What do you think about this fucking loser, Sheriff? He can think whatever he wants. I don't give a shit. No, that's okay. Cause I'll tell you what he thinks. He thinks you have to pay chicks to touch your Just fat hairy stop. ass. stop. That's what he thinks. So he can leave. I think whatever happened was between them. And Lily is dead. So let's... Put this whole thing to rest, Gray. I'm sure that could have gone way worse. Gren, I don't know where Lily's shit is. <sighs> Check Holly's room, I don't know. But I wouldn't wake her if I were you. Sleepwalkers and trolls. I think that's the role. Maybe, uh, ogres, too. Eh, let him talk it out. What a day. Am I right, Sheriff? What a fucking day. Grin won't remember this. Oh, that's not good. Just slide it over a little bit.
Bingo, baby. Wasn't even trying. Called natural skill. Don't dump it out. Just set the box down. Thank you. Is that you, Woody? Uh, Woody? Yeah, sure. Woody, bar's closed. And Lily ain't around anyway, so you can run off back to the woods, I guess. See, dumb and or D. Did you care about her at all? She was a nice girl. Ran around too much. Of course I cared. Uh, I still care. I hope so. I hope you do. I'm not trying to dwindle here. I just want to find the witch and head out. Lily's funeral. It was just so fucked tonight. But I still wish you could have been there. I just don't know what Bigby's doing. If he if he cares about it. If he even gives a shit. I don't know. I don't know why he showed up. I just wish he'd get out of my fucking life. He's just, he's trying to do what's right. You think so? Yeah. Well, you know him better than anybody, so uh, I guess I'll take That's a shame. word for it. If you were getting your glamour on this day, one of these has to be the witch. But, which one? Hello, this is Snow White calling. I'm looking for Bigby. Is anyone there? Bigby, if you're there, pick up, okay? Snow? Hey, I just wanted to see how it was going. Did you find anything? Just an address book with her contacts initials. Not sure which one is the witch, though. Strange. These people keep cropping up. Before, a few days ago, I thought I knew everyone in Fabletown. Any ideas? You should try going up to Crane's place. I sent Buffkin up there to check on things. Bluebeard, you know. Or you could try at the Tweedle's office. Just make it. I quick. really don't want to. We don't have a lot of time. Go to Bluebeard. I'll try D and Dumb's office. D's place. See what I can find there. Sounds good. Just keep me posted. I mean, he was in the picture. Okay. Good luck, Bigby. Well, one of them was in the picture. I hope you're right. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, hi. Sheriff Bigby. Great, great to see you. I don't know if you remember Flycatcher? I've uh, seen you around, but you may have forgotten. I know who you are, Flycatcher. You, you've worked at the Woodlands for how many years now? <laughs> I think I've lost count. But you know, Crane uh, let me go recently. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I mean, it's no big deal. So, what brings you here? I mean, can I help you with anything? Are you here to see one of the brothers? D or Dumb? I was hoping to have a talk with D or Dumb. Do you know where they are? No, they don't really keep regular hours as far as I can tell. Sorry. Think you could just let me into their office? It's been uh, a quiet night so far. I think the twins are out, probably working on a case. Sometimes I don't see them for days. They gave me the job after Crane told me to get lost. Where's their office? Oh, right this way. I, I was going there next anyway. I can let you in if you want. You can wait for them there. Sure, thanks. No problem. You're a good guy, Flycatcher. I'm gonna have to take a look around. 
Uh, well, I, I guess that would be okay. I wasn't really asking for permission. <laughs> right. You're the sheriff. I just don't want to get in trouble or anything. I'm sure it's fine. I mean, they never told me not to let you in. Don't worry. Is that me on their trouble? Right. Punching bag. Right. Right. I'm gonna pause it because I don't know if the ticking clock is genuinely a ticking clock or not. And I'm gonna go ahead and call it. And next time, we will uh, figure out what's going on. So I'm gonna head there right now. Remember to like and subscribe and check out the Discord and the Patreon. Links are in the description. And I will see you guys there.